What do you do after the big binge? Let's find out in today's edition of Love Yourself Friday. Hey everybody and welcome back to another edition of Love Yourself Friday. My name is Anna-Sophie Reinhardt and I'm the founder of Anna-Sophie and today is the perfect day to start loving yourself. So you've just had the big binge. You've eaten tons of ice cream, you've eaten more chocolate than you ever thought possible and you feel horrible. You feel nasty, your stomach is upset, you feel fat, your jeans don't fit and you feel like your thighs are as big as tree trunks. What do you do now? What do you do on the day after? I know this feeling and I've had to ask myself this question many, many times. And I don't know about you, but for me, the day after the binge is often worse than the binge itself. Because you judge yourself, because you, you know, you really criticize yourself. You know, you're, you're saying all these things to yourself, like you're fat, you're nasty, you look awful in these clothes, you can't be trusted, you are not good enough, you just don't have the strong will that other people have. And you really are very hard on yourself. So today I have four tips that help you to stay sane in the days after the big binge. Tip number one is do not go on a diet. Now it's totally normal that you think, oh, the solution to having had a binge is to restrict, is to go on a detox, a cleanse, anything like that for a few days and everything will be fine again. Well, the thing is, if you punish yourself with a diet, all you're doing is programming yourself to have another binge in a few more days. Diets do not work and especially not after a binge. No diets. Tip number two is to start from the beginning. Start with breakfast. Don't skip a meal. Skipping a meal after a binge is really, really bad. Again, you are programming yourself to having the next binge. But if you start from the beginning, if you're very kind, even if you're not really hungry, start with a small breakfast and take it from there. This ensures that you stay balanced, that you stay energized, and that you give your body what it needs that you nourish yourself the way you need to be nourished. So even when you think you have been a bad, bad girl, start with breakfast again. Tip number three is to leave the judgment in the kitchen. Try not to beat yourself up. And I know that this is very hard. And as I've said before, the day after the big binge really is harder than the binge itself because of all the mental stuff that is going on, because of all the beating yourself up that you do. However, try to challenge yourself to see a binge as just a binge. So you've eaten more than you wanted to, you've eaten so much that you felt sick and that your stomach was like this and you felt like you were lying in bed like a whale. See it like that. You've eaten too much, you feel bad, but it doesn't say anything about you as a person. It doesn't say that you're not worthy, that you're not good enough, that you're not smart enough, pretty enough, beautiful enough, controlled enough. It's just a way of dealing with life. That's it. Try to see it that way and remind yourself throughout the day. It's just a binge. Nothing bad will happen. It was just a binge. Tip number four is do not make empty promises. Now, I've been very guilty of that, promising myself that I won't ever have a binge again. I won't ever eat more than feels comfortable. I won't ever eat emotionally. I won't ever eat when I'm not hungry. It's just an empty promise though. Because life happens, you're human, it's very natural to overeat at times. It's very natural to eat emotionally. We all do. Every single person, I believe, eats emotionally from time to time. So don't go around promising yourself to never binge again. This will make it so much harder when you binge. Instead, just expect the next binge. Say to yourself, it will happen. It's gonna be fine. Nothing bad will happen because of it. It's just, again, a binge. But don't think that it won't happen again because it will. So those were my four tips. I really hope that you enjoyed them. Now I wanna hear from you. What do you do after the big binge? How do you show yourself kindness? 
How do you spend the day after? I want to know. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Click like, subscribe and share this video with your friends if you enjoyed it. And I thank you so, so much for watching. I will talk to you again next week. I love you. Bye-bye.